Here's an example of solve an equation with a rational exponent. We have a rational exponent. Rational means fraction. And here it is. It's 2 thirds. We want to undo it. So to undo it, we want to multiply by its reciprocal. So if I have 2 thirds, it's reciprocal, I mean we flip that fraction to be 3 halves. So here's what happens. We have this original x plus 2 in parentheses, and then we have 2 thirds. If we multiply by its reciprocal, 3 halves, we must also do it to the other side. Now, when we multiply, if you think of 2 thirds times 3 halves, what happens? They cancel out. 3 and 3 cancel. 2 and 2 cancel left with 1. And that's what we want to have happen here. 2 thirds times 3 halves, they cancel each other out. So we're left with, on the left side, x plus 2. Again, the 2 and the 2 cancel. The 3 and the 3 cancel. Probably should write this a little bit nicer where it's not just, you know, as a fraction, it's more like this. Two thirds times three halves, you can see it better. So it's three, three, two, two. And they all cancel out to just being one. Now on the right side, that nine to the three halves, if you remember fractional exponents, my three stays underneath, and then my two is my index. Now I need to do some simplifying on that right side. So I can split up that square root of 9 into 3 of them, so square root of 9, times square root of 9, times square root of 9, because there's 3 of them there. And what is the square root of 9? It is 3. So I have 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. On the left side, I really haven't done anything with it besides canceling out that fraction. So I have x plus 2 to the 1, x plus 2, x plus 2. All right, so now we just need to finish up by subtracting 2 from both sides. 27 minus 2 is 25. Again, you can check your answers on these.